you talk about what you think are the major contributing factors to cancer. Can you talk a little bit about some of the components of that that maybe not aren't so obvious to people that involve this buried emotional trauma that you spend a lot of time on? Mm -hmm. I think the biggest drivers to cancer are environmental toxins, which we spoke about, uh, disconnect from nature, and uh, emotional suppression. I think those are bigger drivers to cancer than I know actually, uh, than genetics, than lack of exercise, than unhealthy diet. I think those are bigger pieces of the pie. So what and, does that mean, uh, like emotional, like is it is it trauma you've experienced in your life that you haven't dealt with properly? W what does that look like? What does it do to the body? And what is the best way to fix that? Because I know a lot of people say, I go to therapy, it doesn't help. I, there's, a, you know, obviously big pharma wants to just throw drugs at you all the time. So w what do you do yeah. here? You get back to yourself. So most people walking around that you see are, suppressing emotion. Most of us, it doesn't have to be trauma. We don't have to have had molestation or rape or anything very serious in our lives to have trauma stuck in our body. <clears throat> the way that it works is this. We are all children and we are all self-expressed as children. Jedediah, you have children. I'm sure your child is happy when it's happy, <laughs> sad when it's sad, yeah. angry when he or she is angry. Hey, yes. And, and, and you see it and we appreciate it as parents. And actually, as adults, we're attracted to that. Why? Because at some point, that was us. And at some point, that was lost. The question is, why was it lost? Oftentimes, it manifests this way. When we are expressing ourselves as children, we are told that at some point, we can't, or we shouldn't, or this is not acceptable. And in those moments, I call that actually original sin, is in those moments, we contract and we create this mechanism that protects us from ever expressing that emotion again, right? So let's work with anger. Most people are familiar with anger. A lot of us can express anger, but most of us can't, especially in today's society, and certainly don't have those outlets. So when we're young, and let's say, for example, I'm in school, and I'm angry because, you know, Ralph took my car, and he's not giving it back, and the teacher is saying that he never took my car, and I feel injustice, and I feel angry, and I'm told, Calm down. This is not how we do it. This is not, you're, you're, you're a big boy now. You're not supposed to be like this. My mechanism starts developing, right? And this is a really important thing because if you really truly listen to this part, a lot of parents out there will notice when anger starts coming up again in school or even at home, that mechanism starts to show up. Now, for me, it can show up as humor. So say, for example, when I start feeling angry or when I start feeling that real emotion that's not acceptable by society that humor starts showing up. So all of a sudden, I start being a really funny kid when I'm uncomfortable, mm -hmm. right? And I know a lot of us can relate to it because we know a lot of people who are inappropriately funny in moments that they shouldn't be. And that's the phenomenon. When, and we develop this because as children, we are the most egocentric in the most beautiful ways, right? If mom's mad, it's probably because of us. That's what we believe. If dad's mad, it's probably because of us because we can't rationalize or cognize that maybe they had a hard day at work, or maybe there's financial troubles, or maybe they had a they have issues with their parents or something. We don't think about that. We go, it's us, right? So in that self-centered understanding of the world, we make the adjustment, thinking that we will make teacher, mom, dad, whoever it is, happy by knowing that if I'm humorous, because I know that dad responds to humor, mom responds to humor, and my teacher responds to humor, then I'll protect myself. The problem is this. We blend with that protective mechanism for the rest of our lives. We start to believe that it's part of us. We actually start to integrate it in our persona, which is not us. Our personality is not us. It's only a part of us, right? And then we begin to believe that we are humorous. We, I am a funny guy. I'm a comedian, right? And yeah, we might have that talent for it. But all of a sudden, when there's real emotions in relationships or in, in, in business or something that really needs to be expressed, that humor comes up and protects us. And we don't know how to get past it. That's emotional suppression. That anger that wants to come up, but keeps getting blocked by that protective mechanism, i.e. humor in this example, is not, going, is not able to be expressed. This is why you see people let's say, for example, have meltdowns, right? There's a flat tire and they're freaking out. And you're like, whoa, dude, it's just a 
flat tire. What's that's, going on? That's me. That's yeah. <laughs> that's because that the the charge and the energy of that experience surpasses that compensative mechanism to start being expressed in the body finally in a way that it's been, been suppressed for so many years. We're so scared to show emotion. Society has put us in a place where we're not allowed to show emotion. I feel a lot for women. Women especially can't express their anger in society, right? And I feel a lot for men because men can't really show their sadness or tears mm -hmm. in society. And, and in my work, I've seen so much of it. Women have lost their power in their anger because anger and power are tied together, especially in the same part of the body. And men have lost so much of their sadness. And when I see it in front of me, finally, a human being coming back into contact with the parts of them that they've been suppressing since childhood, that is the most spontaneous healing I've ever seen, ever. So if you like the short clip, you can catch another one here or you can catch the full episode right here.